What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be looking at what are the best resources. So we're going to be looking at shards and books and soul stones. And this is really important. So when you look at events and tournaments, you think, is it worth me going for it? Am I going to get good rewards out of this? And, you know, if you make the wrong choice, that can be really damaging to your account and really slow down your progression. So the first thing and the thing that I always prioritize the most are um, shards. And if there's a sacred shard up for it, I definitely want to try and get that, um, especially if you're free to play as well. So it's so hard to get legendary champions. And if you've only got trash champions on your account, you don't need books. You don't need to be able to awaken those champions because they're not worth investing in. So, of course, we want our account to be as strong as possible. And you do that through shards. And then we can start to focus on on building up those champions. So sacreds are my my go-to, my number one, because it's the best chance that we have of getting a legendary. Then it's void shards. And, you know, a void legendary, they are the best champions and they are better than um, your standard standards of legendaries. But the problem with void shards is the pull rates are not as good as sacred. So that's why I don't value them highly as sacreds but i still really do value them and i do try to get them and um, i still primal shards i still do kind of rate them uh, Plarium are quite generous with them i thought we weren't going to get that many and i think it's only been out for a month now and i've already got 10 so that's not bad at all and um, but it's just because there's that chance to get a mythical champion that's why i put primals over ancients and ancient shards are still really really good as well if you can try and get like an extra couple a month again if you have like if you pull 100 ancients you have a pretty good chance of getting a legendary as well so i do rate them quite highly and especially when you're like early on in the game you know epics can carry your account into the end game so and there's still some really good epics as well that you know do match up to legendaries in content right now as well so that's why I rate all of these shards. The next thing I'll be looking at is books. Uh, they're just really hard to come by, especially legendaries. Uh, mythicals, I don't rate them so much right now because it's so difficult to get to get a mythical champion. It's just so hard. So mythical skill tomes and also Polarium have ridiculously um, like the amount of points and effort to get them. They don't really match up at the moment. But if legendary skill tomes, if I see them, I'm going for them like champion training. I don't need any more champions to level at the moment, but I will just like rank up food just so I can get legendary skill tomes Um, epic skill tomes right now. I don't need them, but they're still really, really valuable. So obviously for early and mid game, you would have loads of epic champions and you do need books and you do need to, you know, have your champion skills like the best they can be and also lower those cooldowns um but also epic skill tomes are a really good way to get points in cvc as well so i still use them for that uh rare skill tomes i just don't even bother anymore obviously they are important early mid game you do need them for like certain rare champions but after a while you don't need them anymore you just keep collecting them and then soul stones so i still value these quite highly as well i'd still say i'd rather get a sacred or void shard over eternal soul stone i think i've pulled about 20 eternal soul stones and so far i've only got trash out of them immortal soul stones probably about 60 and again i've not pulled anything good out of them all of my good pulls have been out of immortal soul stones um and i just want to see can we quickly Okay, we'll just quickly hop onto like the account and just have a look. So Hepfrak, Gamaran, um, Liores, all of these have been pulled from Immortal Soulstones. So my best pulls have been from Immortal Soulstones. Um, doesn't mean that I rate them better. Obviously, Eternal Soulstones are better, Immortal Soulstones are better. But you just get so many Immortal Soulstones that they do sort of work out over time. And awaking your champions is really important. 
and I will go for Immortal Soul Stones. Eternal Soul Stones, it really depends. If I think I can get it quite easily, I will go for it. But a lot of times, like, playing will be like, you know, it's going to be at the very, very bottom on that Path of Light event. And the amount of, you know, it's something ridiculous, like 100k points. And the amount of resources it takes to get for it is just not worth it. So I would skip that. Immortal Soul Stones, they sort of do put them here, there and everywhere. And again, I just, I think you need to look at how many resources that you're going to have to pump in to get them. If not, it's a hard skip from me. But yeah, Immortal Soul Stones as well, they're usually quite reasonably priced and I would go for them. Um, so let's just have a look at some events that are going on right now. So Dungeon Divers, I hate as free to play. Um, they usually are really hard to get the last points. Um, and usually, like if they put good stuff in here, there are like 7,000 points over four days. And it's going to be really, really hard. So that'd be a skip for me, no matter what, what is up for grabs. Uh, Summer Rush, they they buffed this for sure. Um, this is like huge. So, you know, all this stuff you're seeing right here, I would ignore. And what you want to do is, if you're going to pull for a summon rush, you need to make sure that you can at least get 6,000 points because otherwise you're missing out on three legendary books and it's just complete waste. Uh, chickens are nice as well. Um, yeah, five-star chickens, they are kind of good, especially early and mid-game again. But sort of end game, you don't need them as much because you'll just, you know, you just have it sitting in the bank. Uh, the Immortal Soul Stone is nice as well, but I like, again... I wouldn't really be focusing on that. You want the skill tomes over that. Uh, and if you could get like to 10,000, that is really nice. And you're also getting three mythical skill tomes on the way. And again, even though I said I wouldn't prioritize the mythical skills tomes, actually what they've done here, they've padded it out quite nicely. So this is actually worth going for. And let's see what is... okay. Artifact Enhancement, like this is such an easy event and of course we're always going for it. Uh, Immortal Soul Essences as well, so we skipped this. These are definitely worth going for as well. If you can get them, they are really, really important in the Altar of Soul Stones so we can empower our champions. Like you can see, I'm so low on these right now. But um, yeah, these are really hard to come by and they are really, really important because you... You do need these for your legendary champions, and you should really only be buying for your legendary champions. But you're going back to um, this artifact event as well. They do put a lot of good stuff here as well. And like this Chaos Ore, that's actually really valuable. You know, you can just turn around like a trash piece of gear into God tier. So I actually do rate Chaos Ores quite highly as well. If I can get them quite easily, I'll definitely go for them. I'd only go for six star ones though. Five star aren't that valuable. It's all about six star gear. And we'll see if there's any uh, good tournaments going on at the moment. Ah, oh, so we have a champion training tournament and you can see I'm going hard. Um, I actually quite like this. So we've got an ancient shard, which is nice. We've also got primal shard that we've picked up as well. And then we've got that legendary tome at the top. So I'm not going to go too hard on this tournament. I'm literally going to reach 10k and stop um, i don't care about bambus in my opinion awful champion and i don't care if he's got any souls on him however there's a nice piece there like if i finished fourth place any like that's six star relentless guy going up that's very valuable as well also there's a chance to get a cheeky legendary skill tome as well i'll see how things are going if i'm at 10k and there's a bit of gap between me and the people below. I might push for it. But I think I'll probably get wailed out. So I probably will skip. And let's have a look at Ice Golem Tournament. So this one, there's not a lot of great stuff going on here, really, honestly. Um, so this is actually skippable. Um, unless you're in dire need of epic skill tomes, this is a skip from me. However, they've been very generous with their relentless gear here as well. So if you need relentless gear, this could be worth investing in. And they do have three times, 
three times chance to get reflex gear, which is a pretty good gear set as well. So might be worth investing in, but uh, for me personally, I'm going to be skipping it. And yeah, I don't know. Classic Arena takedown is pretty much one of the worst events. However, you can see here again, they've, they've been generous with the Relentless gear. Usually they only put five star gear up for grabs, so it's not really worth your time. But anyway, guys, that's just sort of my thoughts and opinions on what you should be prioritizing on and what are the most valuable things in the game. Uh, have I missed anything? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.